everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with the brand new Ravel Tales. I want to thank the company for sending this to me for free to check out with you guys. I'm so excited. So let's take a little look see at this little booklet. Ravel Tales. The more you unwind, the more you find. Look at these little friends. So, the Ravel Tales live in a cozy little sewing shop called The Last Strand. Although there is comfort and security inside their yarn balls, they do find themselves curious about the outside world. They join together and form the Unravelers, a club that plans on unraveling their yarn balls to begin a new adventure without being noticed. Their story will become their Ravel Tales. So, it looks like we have examples of ones we can find inside. So there's the mittens. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Mittens, get it? And then we have pom pom pups, button bears, pearl ponies. And I guess these are the, oh, this is the ultra rare one. So the golden unicorn is rare. All right, we'll read them as we, like, whoever we get inside, we'll read their little thing. So here is what we have. This is just so super soft. This is like that, um, this wool stuff I used to craft with. That's what it feels like. But we're just going to unravel this and see what we find inside. This is just all rainbow and pretty and fun and so super soft. All right, it looks like we have our Unraveler's Blind box inside all of this fun stuff. So let me move this. Oh, actually, we can keep that. It's super fun. Look how happy that looks. <laughs> I have to make something with that. So there are 12 fun surprises inside this box. This is series one. And there's an example of what we get. So we have like fun, like a toy and a craft. And it's just so cool. And then it says create and share, Ravel Tales. And then right here, it tells us what we get inside. So we get a button charm, pom pom, pet's name tag, stickers, sewing needle, collector card, pillow bed pieces, and your Ravel Tales. And then this tells us exactly what we get inside. So 7.8 feet of thin yarn and 12 feet of thin yarn and all that stuff so cool but up here we have just the unicorn again a little kitty i'm excited i'm ready to go get this open this is so creative all right oh we have like booklets and stuff inside let me set this off to the side and this is our little ravel tales booklet with all the ones we can collect inside i definitely find want to find a knitten so i can't speak specifically <laughs> knickers these are really cute oh but i love nubby too i love all of them i really do want to find a puppy obviously we only have one here so <laughs> but definitely when these hit shelves i'm gonna be buying all of them up i'm so excited but i definitely like the puppies and the knittens because they're called knittens <laughs> and they just all look so cute from this picture and i love the yarn i crochet all the time so doing crafts with yarn is just really fun so this seems to be like instructions on how to create oh here's how to create our pom-pom and the pet bed so it does have detailed instructions which is good you know and then here's friendship bracelets necklaces and pet collars this is so cool there's there's just so much fun so much fun stuff to do so it says right here, bed filler. So this is our, this stuff is our bed filler. And this right here is our little needle. So we're just gonna take this tag off, pull our needle off. The needle is just a little plastic needle, which I will probably re find very useful to reuse for crocheting. Because actually at the end of the project when you crochet, you kind of have to weave the yarn in and this will be a very nifty tool and very handy tool. So we have all of this, which is kind of, it kind of feels a little less, no, maybe it's the same material as that, I'm not sure. But it definitely is super, super soft. And just look at all of these fun colors. So we just basically have to unravel this big ball of yarn. All right, let's see. What is our first layer, I guess? So we got, well, I guess this is technically our first layer. So we unravel this. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Okay. And I like how this will get people crafting, kids crafting more. So we have all of this. And then here is our thinner yarn. So, okay, I'm not really sure where it begins. Does it start here maybe? I guess I'm just gonna start. But we have this awesome orange yarn. Oh gosh, it almost rolled off the table. I mean, obviously I'm gonna be using it for the craft here, but this is definitely something I could use for other things too. If I didn't really want to make the crafts, like let's say I made one pet bed and my two Ravel Tales pets share it, like I could use this yarn for another project easily. All right, so this is our next layer. So this is for the pom-pom. Yeah, these are both for the pom-pom. 
So I like how they're nicely labeled as well. So we'll have to pile that up. I wonder if we're supposed to do it as we go. I'm not really sure about that. Let me see for pom-pom instructions. So we have this little tool. We need like a little horseshoe tool, which I'm guessing is gonna be inside. Um, it would be interesting if we did it like as we went, unless, unless this is supposed to be our, no, this is just like the keychain. So we're gonna have to look for the tools we need. Um, and then we have this thinner yarn, which I'm assuming is gonna be for like the bracelets and stuff. So cool. I used to make a little uh, friendship bracelets all the time. Here we go. Rallying. Made a mess a little bit. All right. Okay, yeah, here's our material. So we have our horseshoe looking thing for the pom pom creation. We have more of this. I'm not sure. Wait, does it say bed yarn? This is the bed yarn. Here's our bed. It's heart shaped and it has an embroidered little. Does this mean we got a knitting? <gasps> Wait, is it? Is this a knitting? Kind of looks like a knitting. Let's read. Let's read. Kind of looks like our knitting. I don't know. Is it though? Um, just kind of like looking, I guess. Kind of seems so. Um, so the knittens are perfect, your perfect cuddly companion. Find them basking in the sun, cuddling up near the fireplace, playing hide and seek, and battling or batting around their yarn balls. These curious kitties love to play fun, so watch out. They may knock your knitting needles off the table and paw around with the beaded bracelet. I mean, probably. Oh no, I think we got a puppy. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. It looks a lot more like her. So, we did get a puppy. The pom-pom pom -pom pups that play together stay together. They will fetch your knitting needles, play tug of war, and chase the beads that roll away. Plus, they have a special treat just for you. A one-of-a-kind pom-pom keychain. These pups are positive that you will be best friends. This is so cute. I'm so excited. Okay, what shall we do first? <laughs> I think we're gonna... Oh, look, here's some stickers. A little pizza, donut, oh my gosh, two of my favorite things. Um, but we do have this, this is really cool that she has fabric that matches her actual like pattern on her body. Oh, okay, okay, wait, there we go, we were stuck there for a second. Um, I kind of think we might go ahead and do the pom-pom first. Let me set that off to the side. So first up, I'm gonna follow this instruction. We do have a nice little ruler here, which is really cool. We're gonna use the medium weight yarn to make the pom-pom. Step one, have an adult help you with cutting a string to six inches long set aside. Okay, so this is our ruler. I love that there's a ruler, this is so cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I cut a six inch palm or string. All right, cut, this is our six inch string. I'm gonna set it off to the side. And the next, let's see. We wrap the yarn string around the U-shaped pom-pom maker about 25 times. Do not wrap the yarn too tightly. So just like that, I'm gonna follow these instructions, these picture instructions. So let's start. Yeah, a hot tip, don't let your yarn get too tangled. Um, then we take the six inch long string and tie the middle as shown. So I'm gonna, I guess I should have prepared this sooner. Let's go ahead and get this little tag off of here. Oopsies. And take this off of here. So we have our six inch string. I wonder if I'm supposed to cut it or what? Oh no, oh no, it's coming in done. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, so let's see if we can get this in here. Oh, okay. Six inch string, let's go through here. On to the other side. Yep, okay, oh, no, wait. Okay, there we go, got it. And then, wait, I lost the end. Oh no, here it is. <laughs> and then we're gonna just tie it, I guess once. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, tied once. I don't know where, uh, tie the middle as shown, leave strings open it, do not trim. I feel like I should tie again, I don't know. Mm, maybe I should. I think I'm gonna tie it one more time. I don't know if I'm really supposed to. It doesn't say double knot and it doesn't look like a double knot, but I'm not sure. All right, so I tied it. Now, what do we do next? Slide scissors under the yarn edge and cut along each side of the pom-pom marker to release the pom-pom. 
So in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we're right here right now. This is where we need to be. We need to get and cut here and cut here. So we cut each of the sides. It looks like I'm done. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> all right, so we got it, clipped it all. So the next step is to remove pom-pom and fluff and trim if needed. So let's remove it. I feel like it could be, where'd the other end go of me tying this? Okay, we just fluff it up. This is actually a pretty nice pom-pom. Okay, so we just gotta trim. Like, so these are some sides that we need to trim and then this definitely gotta take out. But look at that. Ta-da! <laughs> this is cool. I love this. This is such a cool concept. So this is all the yarn I have left. So we do have enough to make another pom-pom. Um, we did get two keychains. I'm just going to set it off to the side because we made the one. And then we get to tie the pom-pom to the Ravels clip. Which, where did I put it? <laughs> Here's one, right here. Um, I guess we'll take a little bit of this string here. I don't know if this will be enough. Wait a minute, how am I supposed to tie it? Maybe I shouldn't have trimmed it off. Whoopsies. <laughs> or maybe I just use one of these strings. I'm not really sure. Uh, regardless, that's how you're supposed to do it. I would not trim it, I guess. Hmm. It should have said like leave a loop because we did have that like loop that we could have tied on very easily, but we didn't because I thought we had to trim it first. So just as a heads up, I do that so we can actually hook it to this. So this is really cool. And this is nice because if you want to do other projects, you now have a pom-pom maker basically. I think that's so awesome. I'm going to set this in our pile of crafts while we move on to the next one. We're going to do the pet bed. So we're going to need the two pieces of fabric and we're going to need the yarn and the needle. So we're going to use the medium weight yarn and thread onto the plastic needle. So I believe that's this. Wait, let's just double check that these aren't labeled. These are bracelets. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming we're going to, oh no, 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 here it is right here. Medium weight. I knew we had a specific one. Okay. So Let's get this bed yarn tag off and we're just gonna go ahead and thread the needle. All right, let's go ahead and do this. I'm not really sure the proper way to thread it, but I'm just gonna do this and just gonna tie it. I don't really sew much. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, just gonna tie it. Um, there we go. So we have our needle. Um, we're going to match up the two halves of the pet. But one thing that I do notice is it's going to be a little tricky because this is so long that it's going to, because we're going to have to thread it all the way through, you know. So, I don't know if there's a tip. Leave extra length of yarn at the start and begin sewing under using an under and over stitch. So this yarn has tangled. <laughs> I, just, I feel like that's going to be the biggest problem with this toy, but it's okay. It gives a little, little um, I was going to say trick, um, gives a little character, a little uh, trickiness to it. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to start here in the middle, and we're going to go ahead and start threading it through. So when it says to weave a little bit at the end, it's going to want you to, let's see, hold on, we're going to the way through here it's gonna want you to leave a good bit here at the end so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna leave it um I did get hair all over this pet hair <laughs> made it as pet bed so all right so I'm gonna kind of speed through this and um, we're going over under wait did that go that went over so we're gonna go wait no 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 that was wrong wait <laughs> I'm confusing myself with the amount of yarn and stuff that we have so if this went through this way we would want to come back through up at the top, I believe. So wait. <laughs> so it would want to be like this, I believe. So I definitely did that wrong. And we'll just have to redo that. So we just got to thread it back through. Yeah, so if I went through the top, 
originally. I'm gonna come back through the top again. All right, so now we're gonna speed it up and hopefully we'll have a nice pet bed after this. I kind of didn't think this through actually. How am I supposed to stuff it if I sewed it all? <laughs> uh, I probably should have read ahead in the instructions. So let's see, step number four, leave an opening in the pet bed stuff with the thicker weight yarn. Um, and then once it's fully stuffed, complete the sewing. So I'm gonna have to de-sew it here, just like unsew it for just like maybe two, two of them. This yarn is too long. I definitely should have trimmed this yarn. Like I think that it was just a little, it, it's super fun, don't get me wrong. I'm having such a good time. I'm just saying like, with when you have yarn this long for a project, this kind of like short, um, it gets tangled easily. That's okay. All right, so I have this small hole here and we're gonna go ahead and stuff it with this. got it filled. It's actually a nice little heavy pillow too. All right, so now I gotta get my, the end of my yarn, very long, extremely long yarn, and we're gonna continue with the same method we were using a minute ago, and we're gonna bring it through these last two holes, and then we're gonna see, I'm gonna try to read the instructions here and see what our last one, our last step is. Does say use the yarn strands at both ends to tie a final bow. So we're gonna tie a bow in case you know you ever want to come back and redo it. Whatever. I can't <laughs> see what I mean about it getting tangled. You guys probably saw me struggle a couple times like that throughout the video. But anyway, so we have the end here. What I'm going to do is I think I'm gonna go through this way again just to kind of meet it and make it even. And then, oopsies, and then we will tie it off. So let me, I guess I can trim it. Let me go ahead and trim. I guess I'll just leave it quite a bit. And then get this end. We're gonna tie a bow. I guess I should have left a little extra. <laughs> because now it's not a bow. <laughs> but anyway, we have a cute little bow here and we have a nice little pillow. I love this, this is so cute. Um, I like the embroidered little feature here, it's really fun. So we have our pet bed all done. We can put that off to the side. And then the next project, let's go ahead and check out, is going to be the Rabble Tails Friendship Bracelet. So basically it looks like we're gonna be braiding. Um, it's going to take me a little bit to kind of figure this out, maybe. Let's see, create a loop at the top and secure. I guess it's just a regular braid. I'm going to assume it is. So, what we're going to do is untangle this big giant <laughs> mess. Um, is this the bracelet? Yeah, so we have bracelet. And it should... Gosh, this is such a mess. Um, might need to take some time to figure this out. This is a little frustrating, but it's okay. Uh, we just gotta find the end. But you know what? 
I almost want to just do this. I think I'm going to use this, which is untangled. It's the same exact yarn, just untangled. Uh, but <laughs> we can use it. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use it this way. So I'm going to cut a little bit here, like that. And then we're going to, you see how this is right here? It goes up, loops down, goes up again. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna start up, we're gonna loop up, and then we're gonna meet down again. I actually think we can do a little bit bigger of a project. So something like this. And then we're gonna tie it here at the top. And after we tie it, there we go. After we tie it, we're gonna trim the bottom. This one right here, just this loop. And then, of course, we're gonna trim the bottom here. All right, so this is the start of our bracelet. Now, one thing, I used to make these so many, all the time. Um, you might wanna tape this to the tabletop or something and help make it easier for braiding or something. But let's read the instructions. Um, oh, it does say to measure out using the Ruler two, whoops. <laughs> Begin to braid. Once you are close to the end of the braid, make a knot and leave enough yarn strands at the end to tie the charm to the bracelet. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna tape this to the table. That's just a nice little hack that I have and then we'll start braiding. Well, you guys, I finished it. So at the end, you are supposed to leave room for your charm. Now you did see that we have a bunch of charms here to be able to attach. We have the carrot, cupcake, uh, poop, and got this little yarn ball. So I decided to kind of hang on and just wait to put anything on because I wanted to show you guys the bracelet. I really do think that having that tape there really really helps it just would make it so much more complicated if you didn't have it so now that we have it we can connect the bracelet so we can just kind of pull this through and loop or you can tie whatever so there we go that's how you can put this you can use this as a bracelet or you can use it as a collar for your little friend here so fun a little collar and leash look at that so anyway, let's see. I think the necklace is the only thing left slash pet collar and it works the same exact way. You just make them in different distances or different, different lengths. So you guys, this was everything, all the different projects that you could create with your little friend. Plus you can do so much more with it as well. But I'm so excited about the little pet bed and our little pom pom and our pet. And like all of this, the supplies was so fun. And I just love the little friend. By the way, the little friend does have beans in the body and has a plush head. And all of this is embroidered, all of the features. It's so cute. And it's kind of like he's laying down so he fits perfectly on his little bed. <laughs> So cool, and he even has a little yarn tail, which is very fitting for, you know, the, the yarn thing we have going on. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time.